Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Karnan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalangi Engineering College, Koyal Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the solution and discussion on engineering service examination, mechanical engineering questions in the topic air compressor part 1. So, this is lecture number 19. The first question from 2014 question paper. Following points express the effect of keeping high clearance volume for the cylinder in reciprocating compressor. Which one of the following points is disagreeable? By increasing clearance volume, volumetric efficiency decreases. By increasing clearance volume, power consumption increases. By increasing the clearance volume, the chances of piston striking the cylinder head gets reduced. By increasing the clearance volume, maximum compression pressure value decreases. So, the, the point which is disagreeable is by increasing the clearance volume, the power consumption increases. So, other three points are agreeable, they are true with respect to keeping the clearance volume of the reciprocating compressor. The disagreeable point is increasing clearance volume, by increasing the clearance volume, power consumption increases. That is disagree, disagreeable. The next question again from 2014 question paper, cooling of reciprocating compressor cylinder increases volumetric efficiency, increases work output, work input, decreases volumetric efficiency, decreases work input. Which of the above statements are correct? So, cooling, perfect cooling of a multi-stage reciprocating compressor increases volumetric efficiency, that is true increases work input that is not correct that is wrong cooling the reciprocating compressor decreases the work input so the fourth statement decreases the work input that is true so the correct answer is 1 and 4 option d is the correct answer the next question from 2017 question paper they consider the following statements for single stage reciprocating compressor Isothermal process is the most desirable process for compression, that is correct. The size of clearance volume provided in the compressor has no effect on the work done per kg of air delivered. The volumetric efficiency of the compressor decreases with increasing the pressure. Which of the above statements are correct? So, all the three statements are correct. So, isothermal process is the most desirable, isothermal process that gives the minimum work input the size of the clearance volume provided in the compressor has no effect on the work done per kg of air delivered and the volumetric efficiency of the compressor decreases with increasing the pressure. The next question from 2016 question paper, which one of the following method can be adopted to obtain isothermal compression in the air compressor? Increasing the weight of the compressor, interstage heating, atmospheric cooling, providing appropriate dimensions to the cylinder. So, among the four answers, the correct method to obtain isothermal compression of air in the air compressor is providing appropriate dimensions to the engine cylinder. Other three effect, other three points mentioned here, they, they have no relevance with the isothermal compression of the air compressor. The next question is again from 2016 question paper, the performance of a single stage reciprocating air compressor is evaluated by its isentropic efficiency, isothermal efficiency, adiabatic efficiency and volumetric efficiency. So, the performance is estimated by isentropic efficiency, which is the ratio of isentropic work done divided by the actual work done. So, the correct answer is option A, isentropic efficiency. The next question from 2018 question paper, the clearance volume in reciprocating air compressor is provided to reduce the work done per kg of air delivered, to increase the volumetric efficiency of the air compressor, to accommodate the valves in the heads of the compressor, to create turbulence in the air to be delivered. So, the correct option is to accommodate the valves in the heads of the compressor, that is the reason, main reason for providing clearance volume in the reciprocating air compressor. 
The next question, consider the following statement in respect of maximum efficiency of a two-stage reciprocating compressor. The pressure ratio are the same for each cylinder. The work done is the same for the each stage and the intercooling is perfect. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, look at the option 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3 and 1, 2, 3. All three have the effect on the maximum efficiency of the two stage reciprocating compressor. So, the pressure ratio for is the same for each stage. Work done is also same or because, because pressure ratio is the same, work done is also the same and the intercooling should be perfect for the maximum efficiency of the two stage reciprocating compressor. Next question from 2017 question paper, consider the following statements. The volumetric efficiency of the reciprocating compressor can be improved by decreasing the clearance volume, cooling the intake air, heating the intake air. So, which of the statements are correct? 2 only, 3 only, 1 and 2 or 1 and 3. So, the volumetric efficiency can be improved by decreasing the clearance volume and cooling the intake air. Heating the intake air will decrease the volumetric efficiency. So, the correct option is 1 and 2. So, decreasing the clearance volume, cooling of the intake air will have the, will improve the volumetric efficiency of the reciprocating compressor. So, the volumetric efficiency is defined as eta volume equal to 1 plus k minus k into P2 by P1 to the power 1 by n or 1 plus k minus k into V1 by V2 where k, k is the clearance volume, clearance ratio which is clearance volume divided by sub volume Vc by Vs or V3 by V1 minus V3. The next question from 2017 question paper, there are two statements. Statement 1, the volume of air taken in the, taken into the cylinder of a reciprocating compressor is less than the stroke volume of the cylinder. The statement is true. The statement 2, Air that has been compressed to the clearance volume expand to a larger volume during the suction stroke. That is also true. The correct answer is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true, but statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1. Option B is the correct answer. Two statements are individually true. The next question from 2015 question paper for a multi stage reciprocating compressor, which of the following statements are correct? So, the multi-stage reciprocating compressor, it decreases volumetric efficiency, the work of compression is reduced, the high pressure cylinder is smaller in size. So, the statements are either 1 and 2 are correct, 2 and 3 are correct, 1 and 3 are correct and 1, 2, 3 are correct. The correct answer is 2 and 3. So, the multi-stage reciprocating compressor, the work of compression is reduced and the high pressure cylinder is smaller in size. Dimension wise it is smaller in size, but pressure ratio remains the same for both the cylinder. So, multi-stage reciprocating compressor will not decrease the, will not increase the volumetric efficiency. So, this is the two cylinders, the low pressure cylinder of larger size, this is the high pressure cylinder, second stage of smaller size. So, in between we have a perfect air cooler. Next question from 2015 question paper, consider the following statement about two stage reciprocating compressor. For the same pressure ratio, the volumetric efficiency of the two stage compressor is more than that of a single stage compressor. A two stage compressor require minimum work when the intercooling is perfect. The intercooler pressure P2 is the average of inlet pressure P1 and delivery pressure P3. So, which of the above statements are correct? So, if you look at the three statements, first statement for the same pressure ratio, the volumetric efficiency of a two-stage compressor is more than the single-stage compressor. This statement is true. A two-stage compressor requires minimum work when the intercooling is perfect. This statement is also true. The intercooler pressure P2 is average of inlet pressure, the delivery pressure. This statement 3 is wrong. So, the correct answer is 1 and 2. Option B is the correct answer. The next question from 2015 question paper, for a minimum compressor work in two stages of reciprocating, two stage reciprocating compressor, which of the following expression gives the ratio of low pressure cylinder to the high pressure cylinder? 
low pressure cylinder to high pressure cylinder diameters. So, P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 4, P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 3, P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 2, P3 by P2 to the power 1 by 4, where P1, P2, P3 are the inlet, intermediate and final pressure. So, inlet pressure is P1, intermediate pressure is P2 and P3 is the delivery pressure or the final pressure. So, the correct option is option C. So, diameter ratio is equal to P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 2. So, we will see how in the next slide. So, the mass of air crossing the cylinder multistage compressor is the same. For the same stroke length the volumetric efficiency P1 D1 square equal to P2 D2 square equal to P3 D3 square. So, D1 by D3. So, the D1 is the diameter of the first stage, diameter of the cylinder of the first stage, D3 is the diameter of the second stage. So, P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 2. For a two stage compressor, the ratio of LP cylinder, LP cylinder to HP cylinder is equal to, diameter of LP cylinder to HP cylinder is equal to, square of the ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure, the diameter of final pressure to the initial pressure, the uh, ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure, the square root of ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure, cube root of ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure, the answer is option C. So, the ratio of diameter of LP cylinder to HP cylinder is square root of the diameter, di square root of the ratio of final pressure to the initial pressure. So, we will see how the same explanation diameter of the two cylinders equal to P3 by P1 to the power 1 by 2. Next question from 2016 question paper, a portable compressor is taken from a place where the barometric pressure is 750 millimeter of mercury and the average intake temperature is 27 degree Celsius to a mountain mountainous region where the barometric pressure is 560 millimeter of mercury and the temperature is 7 degree Celsius. The reduction in the mass output of the machine is 80 percent, 60 percent, 40 percent and 20 percent. The correct answer is 20 percent. So, we will see how in the next slide. The answer to the question, pressure 750 millimeter of mercury is 99.99 kilo Pascal and 560 millimeter of mercury is 74.66 kilo Pascal. The percentage of decrease in mass output of the compressor which is equal to M1 minus M2 divided by M1 substituting in terms of from the perfect gas equation P1 V1 divided by RT1 minus P2 V2 divided by RT2 divided by P1 V1 divided by RT1. So, V1 equal to V2, the volume of the air handled by the compressor is the same. The So, deleting volume V1 and R gas constant R, so the equation simplified to P1 by T1 minus P2 by T2 divided by P1 by T1, substituting the parameter numerical values 99.99 divided by 300 minus 74.6 divided by 280 divided by 99.99 divided by 300, solving the equation it is 0 0.2 which is 20 percent. The answer is 20 percent. The decrease in the mass output of the compressor is 20 percent. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I published in the mechanical engineering subject and I uploaded the video lecture of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You can refer to the video or the book for the further information in the subject. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. So, we will meet again with another video lecture in the solution of engineering service examination in the air compressor. Until then, bye.